What is happening, Magnus Sykes? Just got done watching The Last of Us. And I got to say that the first episode started out well. I really like that opening segment uh, explaining how mankind could come to an end. There will be spoilers in this, so this is what it is, but very light spoilers. So, if you are a fan of the, the video game, you are going to recognize that there is very familiar music, very familiar shots, sights, and sounds. In a somewhat familiar story, uh, they definitely did things differently, okay? Other than, um, you know, first of all, Joel's daughter appears to be older than what she was in the video game. And we could, of course, we know they made her mixed race. Um, and the way things kind of happen, the way things happen aren't the way they happen in the video game, but similarly to how they happen in the video game. Um, I got to say, uh, I do like the way the episode was directed for the most part. Um, I like the... The, I, I like the look of it. It's a good looking series. But I gotta say, you know, it's not Joel and Ellie. The acting is good. Pedro Pascal kind of resembles Joel, but he's not Joel. He doesn't feel like Joel. And Ellie definitely doesn't look like Ellie whatsoever. She kind of feels like Ellie. Let me give you an example. You know how Henry Cavill, Tom Welling, uh, um, um, Christopher Reeve, they they really feel like Superman. Like, you're like, yeah, that's Superman. That's him. He doesn't feel like Joel like that. You got what I'm saying? He... Feels Joel-ish. There's some Joel characteristics in there. But he doesn't feel like Joel. I gotta say he has a really badass moment near the end of the episode. Which I, which I really like. A tad brutal. But I, I liked it. Um, I liked how they did the zombies. Um, but it's that, it, look. If, if you want them to go beat for beat. It's not going beat for beat like the game. It's definitely a little different. It's different. I'm not going to say a little different. It's different. If I did not have the game to go on, I would say that I would want to give give it more time. Like if I, I'm just trying to take myself out of that and say, okay, if I'm a person that never even heard of this, what would I think? I, I, you know, I would think that it was um, a, a slightly above average first episode to a new series. Now, being a fan, a big fan for the first game, I clapped for the first game. First game that made me clap is the game that I saw in the DLC. They had Ellie have a same-sex kiss. I was like, wow, this game is breaking down barriers. I actually gave them accolades for that. So, you know, I, I the first, first game was very, very interesting to me. Being a big fan of the first game, and you know how fans are, we want you to be as close to source material as possible. And yes, we even know you may change some things and, you know, but we want you to be as close as possible. But as long as it works, it works. You know what I mean? That's all fans really are. We know you're going to change some stuff. As a big fan of the first one, I want to say that I'm I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. It's it's all right. I'm not you know, I'm not angry about anything. I, I wish what, what here's what's funny. Joel's mixed race daughter looks more like his daughter did in the series in the first game than the actress for Ellie does like Ellie 
which I find massively strange. I'm like, you, okay, deviate with his daughter, but Ellie is so pinnacle. Her and Joel are like, you know, <laughs> and it's like not making Lex Luthor bald. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is not Ellie. Uh, she acts something like Ellie. But you can tell Pedro Pascal is Joel. It's just that he's not really our Joel. It's not our Ellie. It's more of an Elseworlds story. It feels Elseworld. But I'm willing to see what you got, Druckmann. You got what I'm saying? That's what I am singing. I'm willing to continue to watch. Um, I haven't been put off be it by anything. Really, I'm just like, I knew they were going to deviate. Word is, rumor is, is that in the third episode, they're going to massively deviate. So I guess the fans are going to come out in droves and let you know. They're going to let you know today. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. My reaction will be up on Patreon and YouTube memberships for you guys to see how I reacted to everything. And, um, yeah. This is what it is for now. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5. Woos! So I will see y'all next week for episode 2. That rhyme doesn't play the game. Bars! 10 million subscribers. Woo!